If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today. Thank you for all joining us tonight. Hope you've enjoyed the show. So get your tea bags on, your cup of tea on, your hot whiskey. We're ready. Let's go. I'll for, have a hot whiskey. And we're <laughs> going looking for Pop Goes the Weasel. Are we going to find this one with the hood song, the song to us the last night? We don't know. Get ready, guys. We're ready. It's time for Pop Goes the Weasel live. Are you ready? We are ready. It's time for Pop Goes Weasel. I hope you have all your team. 
bags ready, your drinks, your bags of crisps, because we're about to enter Pop Goes Weezer. We're already ready, Carly. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good evening, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Paranormal Tech. I'm Philip. I'm Caroline. And tonight we are back in Pop Goes the Weasel. If you're new to the channel, good evening and good welcome. You're very welcome to us. Tonight we are going to encounter, we're going back to Pop Goes That's a bit better than that bending down, eh? So we're live on YouTube. And yes, we're back in Pop Goes the Weasel. This is Clyde Court House. There's a great history. And uh, our regular viewers would know about the history about this channel. But... There's good points and bad points about this location. As you've seen our advertisement, it's Clyde Courthouse. It goes back from generations to generations. The last standing of the Fosters in Clyde Courthouse was Mrs. Foster. Mrs. Foster lived to her 80 years of age. It's a big, huge mansion of place, but this place has been pa passed from generation to generation. But the last standing of the Fosters was Mrs. Foster, and she died in her 80 years of age. When she was no longer to take care of herself, she was sent into a private nursing home not too far away from here, located in RD, and the place went up for sale, and uh, a farmer owns the property now. This place goes back from generation to generation, as it says. Is the place haunted? Yes, 100% haunted. We have got plenty of evidence here in this place, and lots of stories to as well in this place it goes back to Mr Foster himself when he hung himself in one of the rooms here at Clyde Court House and the, one of the reasons was it Carly can you tell the people at home there tell them your story of your view just push he in a bit he hung himself up. because um, his wife was supposedly having an affair with the butler so the story says that he put poison in the well outside the house and he poisoned his wife and she died soon later and he was meant to poison his kids. That's the story. That is a story and one of the story goes that uh, he, as Karen says his wife was having an affair with the butler and Mr Foster himself was a genius in medication. He was absolutely a genius in medication. He travelled all the world and he was a very wealthy man. He wasn't afraid to share his wealth. Back in the famine back in Ireland back in the years, the year, many years ago Mr Foster himself um, donated some of his money to help people to leave Ireland to go back to the UK and to America and when people were starving with the potato blight back in them times he even helped them with the medication as well he, he helped the poor and there's actually a statue in aid of Mr Foster standing in RD for a marker of respect what a he did memorial. a memorial marker of respect what he did he was a very generous person but unfortunately Mr Foster the story goes that this place here that his wife had an affair with the butler and he put poison into the running well that goes into the house and all the kids uh, picked up pr prictus peridium and a lot of people got sick we don't know the stories are the truth that the kids died from what he what, what he did couldn't can't back that story but what we do is tell you is that there was a death of one of the kids in this house there's a river running some part across the field back here she was swimming across the river and she did not make the other side one of the kids and she drowned, and she drowned it in the river and Mr. Foster hung himself in the room upstairs. And there is another story going as well from Mr. Foster. Kevin Kane, as you see the street up behind me, Kevin Kane lives up here. Kevin Kane was actually a worker that worked for Mrs. May Foster. And she was a very proud lady indeed. She didn't like anybody on top of her, didn't like anybody on top of her land. And she was very proud. And Kevin Kane used to say to me, she said, she, you, you, we might even see Kevin Kane here tonight, we don't know. But, and Kevin Kane used to say to me, she used to turn around and say, Mr. Mr. Kane, do this. Mr. Kane, she was a very, very proud lady indeed. So, um, what encounters have we ever got here? Carney, can you tell me what's, what, what, what's your experience in here? We were actually here one night, me, myself, Philip, and Kevin was with us. And we actually felt something being thrown from behind us and as if someone was rushing, running away. And then we also had a capture of a face, a green face behind, behind Philip. We had a capture of that there and we also heard a woman humming a lullaby. Like pop goes the reason. Yeah, it was actually 100% jit. We were, I, I brought Carly down towards the dungeon. You can hear the woman's going, la, 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 la. And she was humming that song in this location. I've been here a few times. There is a dungeon in it. Now, there's a, there's one bad thing about this place. The Wi-Fi can be very, very bad here. One minute the Wi-Fi can be here. One minute the Wi-Fi can be bad. And next thing the Wi-Fi might stick. We might have to run around to pick up, to pick up the Wi-Fi. I don't know, did you pick up that and the camera? I might have seen a man in there black. Was a man. But he's only after walking into the bushes there. Yeah, he did. Did he? Yeah. So, um, so the last the Wi-Fi can be bad. So you're going to have to be patient. It. It is a fantastic area. Carling's going to hand over the, the the camera to Carling. Carling's going to walk. There is a gatehouse here as well. We're not going to concentrate much on the gate. 
here tonight because we never got much activity no. in the guest house. But as we walk down towards the woods, I'm going to try and get the camera pointed towards the woods as we're walking down. Sometimes you can actually hear the giggles of the kids playing here in the manor. Um, I know I'm watching there, Anne-Marie says, Jilligan is doing a lot of research. Well, it's, it's a foster family home in RD in it's County. Jillian. 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 Still teaching him. Jillian. It's Foster's Family Home, known as Cly Court House Manor. That's what it is. And if you look, there's a statue of the Foster's Family Home. That's what it is, isn't it, Caroline? Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, we're going to have Matt TUK's device into Caroline's pocket somewhere for a few minutes. Um, maybe just hold it, Caroline, for a second. Just hold it through them for a second. And Caroline's going to talk to you. And then we'll, we, will, we will switch the camera around. Um, I'm going to carry the gear. We're going to walk through it slowly. Now, let's pray to God, Caroline that the coverage does stick here. And um, yes, he said my, re my name correctly. Just be careful, guys, off the coverage. If the coverage <laughs> does go in this one, you need to ref refresh it because this place is not to be missed. There is a possibility that we could get something very, very quickly mm -hmm. in here. Possibility we might get in. We'll just bring you back to another story, Carly. Can you tell the folks about the story of Kevin Kane and his wife? Do you remember that story? The Kevin Kane was out walking his dogs one evening and himself, his wife, and his sister were out walking the dogs and they walked around the back of Clyde Courthouse and his wife and his sister seen an old man figure and sitting in the window, sitting rocking in a rocking chair. Yeah. And when we did, we did do a spirit box in that ferret window and when we asked who was rocking in a rocking chair, he said it was the devil. Yeah, so we did do, a, we did a paratex session at the window and the answer we got was the devil. That's the answer we got. So let's hope the Wi-Fi sticks. Let's pass you over to Carling. Welcome and welcome to Paranormal Tech live tonight with Caroline and Philip. We hope you enjoy and if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe guys. And we are going... Jeez, that was the airling is passing us there. We are going live tomorrow night and it's called When the Lights Turn On. Not when the lights go out, it's when the lights turn on. We explain that after this uh, paranormal investigation. So I'm going to pants to Caroline. You know what to do, Caroline. Turn mm -hmm. around. I'm just going to strip down. You can talk away there to me. I'm going to give a big shout out to Anne Rees tonight. Big shout out to Gillian. Big shout out to Carby Chris. Hi, Karen. Hi Chris and to everybody else that's watching tonight. No, we're just going to go climbing, isn't it? No, we're just going to go down to that gate to make it easier. Yeah. And um, explain what we heard as we pulled up here. The noises we heard in here already. Yeah, we're hearing bangings coming from inside here already, so... Just hope there's nobody in there tonight, isn't it? Let's hope it's just the family. Yeah. And... Um, so... A big shout out to Marin. Marin or the Bangle Explorer. Nice to actually see a face today. Kind of hold that when you're walking because you're pointing down. Oh, nice to meet you, Marna. So we just turn around let people see what we're doing, Carly, as you're walking around. And people can still hear you walking. So we're walking down this road here, guys. And Carly's just done it again. Just up there, Carly. So we're just going to turn around this so you can see exactly where we're going. Let's hope the Wi-Fi was sticks. So, as Carly says, Marine Explorer has done our first YouTube live channel. So we see who it is. So it's great, as Carly says, it's great to see the face who we're seeing. We are watching your videos. We will... It was our first time ever on a video, ourselves. Yes. Like. Yeah, so we are watching them. Nice to see a face to the name. Right, this is the gatehouse here. <laughs> That's the gatehouse there, guys. We're not going to concentrate in the gatehouse. Just stand here, Karen, in a second. Just stand there, over that bag. That is the gatehouse of the manor. Uh, an old lady lived in that gatehouse. Gate she didn't die in the house. The house was rented out. But that was the gatehouse, and there are the bars that were going into it, and the entrance up there where the car is. But um, there is one standing room in it. We will try and get it on the way out, but we never really picked up. And people said to see someone looking out the window, but we've been there loads of time, and we never picked up Edna in that house. And uh, let's take you to the gatehouse. I'm going to hold this car until you hop the gate. You give me that bag. So we have to hop a gate and then I'll hand Carly back this. Now the Wi-Fi will go in and out guys. Just keep refreshing it. The Wi-Fi will go in and go out. So we're just going to walk down here. We're going to hop. And we're going to, we said we said we said we go live from the car at the time and try and bring the Wi-Fi with us because this place can be very iffy for Wi-Fi. It's a pity because this place is very active indeed. I bought the RAM pod tonight. I bought the millimeter with me tonight as well. We will do two or three spirit box sessions as well. But tonight I kind of want to wander around and be quiet and see what we pick without any paranormal ghost equipment because you never know what we pick up. Isn't that right, so we're not ignoring chat. Carly will talk to the chat in a few minutes. We're just making the. I'm just holding this. We have to hop a gate here. We have to hop a gate here. Now we've, we've been going here for many years now to this place, and it is very active. Trust me. When it works, it does work really, really quite well. So the coverage is starting to go already. You can see. Waiting for Carly to hop the gate. 
So the coverage will go and it will go out. It will go and will go out. Just have to be patient with us, guys. Just wait for Carney to top the gate now. So, up I get. Oh, no, just give me that bag there, Carney. Now there's an electric fence here. We're just going to go up. There's a gap here and we'll get through it. So we're going to walk through it. Guys, now I want to come out. There is an electric fence there. So, um, I want to try and get under that. So, get under that fence, Gary. Right? So, here's the electric fence, and we need to get under that because I don't know if that's alive or not. Did we not climb it before? We did, but this place was closed. It's open now, and it could be live. So, are we going to chance it? I'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, Carly wants me to go first. You just hold that first, Carly. All right, let me try it first. Okay, up you come. Carly's next, underneath the flex fence. It's so alive on YouTube, Carly might get electrocuted. <laughs> there you go, she's fine. So I give this all back to Carly again. So, and we're just, we're good just, we can get you to hold that. And I can slide that here. In. In your bag, that's fine. No, just walk. Hello, Blackwing, how are you? Just keep it up there. So we're walking through it. <laughs> just walk through it slowly. Just watch how you're holding the camera. So we're walking through the wood. There, Carlene, there is the gatehouse over there. Sorry, keep walking as you're doing this. That is the gatehouse. And back in this heyday, there used to be loads and loads of different trees here. So come on, Karen, keep coming slowly. Remember the night, Carlene, we were here in the storm, in the winter, and all the cows and the cattle. That's right, yeah. yeah. So the grass has seemed to be cut anyway. Just, we'll just, we'll just let's hope the Wi-Fi will stick, and Carney keeps the camera straight. We'll be fine. I haven't got a straight hand. No. <laughs> we'll be fine. So we're going to walk through it slowly. It's and a lovely evening here in Ireland, Gillian. Yeah, about time, we've got yeah. good weather. Yeah. Carney's a habit of dropping her hand. Just going to hold it like that. <coughs> so we're just going to walk you through it. Now, my, uh, I brought Carling. No, I actually brought it actually down here um, a couple of months ago. Could be two years ago. Come to Carling. Mm -hmm. And as we walked through the, mm -hmm. I could hear girls actually singing and playing a song or something. And when we got down to the house. There was nobody there at all. And there, Carling. Yeah, there's no um, And the spirit box was for my mommy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We forgot to mention that one as well. When we were in the dungeon, well, it's not a dungeon, it's kind of a cellar, the wine cellar, and I had the spirit box on, and the spirit of a wee, a wee child came through the spirit box and says, Where's my mommy? Well, you've never seen two people jump out a window as quick as they can and head back to that car. I'll tell you that much. So we're heading back slowly now, and we'll, we'll take a break in a few minutes. And we're walking now. This is actually the original. We just stop there, Karen, in a second. So, um, Karen's all wires. So there is the gatehouse to the right, the, the red bricks, and there's the set of gates. So we're, we're we're actually walking in the. They're actually we are actually walking the right way. I'm gonna have to do this because Karen is like RT1 and RT2 now. So you hold it like that. And look at these old trees here, guys. Look at the old. Look at all of these old trees here, guys. Look at that. And they're hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old. And we're going to walk you through the right way where it's so horse and carriages you just come up up this way. So we're going to hold it. Do you want me to take this bag? No, it's too heavy. So, I, Caroline, can you just, that's all you have to do, is keep it straight, that's all. That's it. No. Right, let's come on. Caroline. Keep it straight. Big shout out to David Howard who's watching tonight. Hello, David. Yeah. Look, no, band hand. <laughs> So this is the original way. We're going to take it down slowly, walk right down towards it slowly. And um, I'm going to have to take that off curtain in a minute. No, I thought. <laughs> just <laughs> pointing to the ground. We'll give Caroline a minute of it and see how she gets on. So we're going to walk up here very slowly now. Big shout out to Stephen Klein. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Back here a second, Caroline. Back here a second. Back here a second. Back here. I just have to see something. Um, if you're a regular viewer of the station, I'm going to try and zoom in. It might work, but in the distance there, you can kind of see a big, huge castle sticking up. See it over there and there? That's actually Oliver Plunkett's house. See it there, Karen?
Yes, yeah, right. That's actually Oliver Plunkett's house. That's actually another investigation. We'll go back to it again now. There you go. That's more like it now. So we're heading down these tracks here. And this is originally the original way into Clyde Court House. And all these trees are actually the same trees that were planted here in the day. That's it. And uh, in the day. So we're going to head down. There's no sign of activity around here. Don't hear any girls singing. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And it is more freakier at night time, isn't it, Caroline? Yeah. But it is a fantastic place. And we're going to t we're going to start tonight's investigation at the well. It was the anniversary of Oliver Plunkett's day yesterday. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there. Yeah. Look at the pheasant there, the wife. Look at this, Caroline. Fire. <laughs> Carrie is a habit of dropping everything and she can't keep focused that we missed it there now. There's actually wild pheasants in there behind them trees. And I just want to tighten this all up for you guys. Just give me a second. And we're gonna move out here very, very quickly, Carrie. Can you see all them fucking flies? Yeah. Fucking mm -hmm. thousands of them. Mm -hmm. Right, let me just hold it as you walk this way here a second. Keep yeah. going, Carrie. Yeah. They come to the perfume, yeah. So we're gonna walk down here. We're gonna to start tonight's investigation. At the, at the well, we're going to show you the well during the day and uh, then we're going to show you the house, the front of the house, then we're going to sit outside the windowsill. What happened outside the windowsill, Caroline, when we were here, the first time you were here, what happened? Can you remember? The great bang behind us. No, the white lady. So there's your coverage going in. So um, just be, the coverage is starting to, to, starting to skip. We'll settle down in a few minutes, but it's, it, it, it can be disappointing, but it's a bit better tonight, but it is a beautiful location. And people always ask the questions, if they had the money, they would love to do up this house, but I'm afraid it's gone beyond that now, <laughs> isn't it, Colonel? Gone, gone way, way beyond it, but it was a fantastic place in its time. And um, Kevin Keynes used to say where the field of corn is there in front of us, they were all wood. This, this was all a bigger wooded area back in its time. There is the track going in into the left hand side of the house. Shh, hold it, Carly. I thought I heard music, did you? I heard someone singing. I thought I heard someone singing there. I definitely thought I heard someone singing. There it is again. Did you hear it, Carly? It's not music, it's like someone singing. Can hear, we can hear people singing. I don't know about you guys at home. Are you picking it up? But we're hearing someone singing. And we're only, we're not even at the, the house yet. And the midges are starting to eat us. <laughs> so, definitely heard of something singing. Like a squeak of a gate open, isn't it, Carly? Mm -hmm. More like that. But you can picture being down here at night time. And you hear them things, your mind goes cracked all together, isn't it, Carly? Mm -hmm. So, We'll show you the house in a minute. We're going to keep that surprise for people that haven't seen the Court House. We'll concentrate in the woods for a few minutes. But this, this area was a big wooded area in its time. A huge wooded area. And then the land was all divided up and sold. Uh, when Mrs Foster died, the land was all sold up. All this land was all belonged to the Foster family home. Every bit of it for hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of years. There was about four or five hundred acres of land here. And then and when Mrs May Foster died, they divided the land up in different sections to support her upcoming in a nursing home. And the money then was given out to charity when she died. And uh, this home is standing still. So let's show you the house, what it looks like. That's the house they were standing. That is called Clyde Court House Manor, known as the Family Foster Family Resident. It wasn't originally like that that was only a small weaver house but when mr foster started to have his family started to have his children he started to extend the property and when he started to extend the property he had i don't know how many daughters and sons he had but the story goes that he had a big family and uh, when he had the family he started to hire maids and butlers because he was a very very wealthy man and he built his actually another apartment uh, behind the house and for the maids and the butlers to live here and um, on the left hand side of the house as you're looking 
there's a kind of a bay window at the front. That is where Mrs. May Foster uh, uh, lived her last few days here in the family residence known as Clyde Court House, Foster's family home. Mrs. May Foster was the last standing of the Fosters. So this this Foster home was passed from generation to generation for many years and it takes a lot of research to find out the evidence of the family residence. But um, I got most of my history from Kevin Kane who worked here and I googled another percentage of it where I found some of the story about the Foster family home. So that's what it looks like. It was a fantastic house in its day. Run it, Carney? Yeah. Um, the maids and the butlers that lived in this house, the butler himself had a f an affair with Mrs. Foster. And when Mr. Foster found out, he hung himself on top of one of them windows in one of them rooms. And the white lady figure is shown. You know where that, see where that bay window is, Caroline is? Mm -hmm. On to the right. So let's show you the well, and we'll get Caroline back on the phone to you again. So we're going to start with the well. We're going to show you at the well. This is actually, the well is actually still here today. And the last time we did come here, we didn't get a chance to show you the well because the coverage just kept breaking. And the grass was awful high that time, remember? Very, very high. So we'll get talking to you in a minute. Well, where the poison, years and years ago, went back in, in Ireland. No, that was all from the forest, that tree puppy fell, you see. Years ago, back in Ireland, there was no running water from the houses. You had to have your own wells. So Mr. Foster had dug his own well here and pumped the water into that residence there. So before Mr. Foster hung himself in the house, he put poison into this well, and eventually the water was purelized and went into the house and poisoned nearly the whole family in it so here is the well there's nothing left of today i'm going to show you the well and then carling is going to talk to you so let's run you through do you want to have a fag before you go anywhere no so let's come down here carling let's show you the well so it looks like a, it looks like a pig slot at the moment but that is actually the the the, the well there's the steps coming down and that is the well there that was pumped the water into the Foster family home. Back to Caroline. Hello to Blackwing. How are you this evening? I watched a bit of your thing the other night. It was very good. So, so come on. <laughs> does anybody have any feelings about the house already? What's your opinion about the house in the front at daytime? Usually when we're here, we're here at night time. Mm. So now you're getting a good look at it during the day. I'm yeah. good, thanks, Blackwing. So they're just talking between themselves. So. What we'll do is we're going to head to the window. What do you think, Caroline? And yeah. we'll have a wee sit there and see what we can. Yeah, going to be active again. Let's hope mm -hmm. it will be active for you guys. David, there, light up a fag there to keep the flies away. You're the fucking. Just <laughs> the leche, the leche, the leche. Jesus Christ, the leche. Put in the corner. Yeah. The leche. We will turn around the camera and we'll walk towards the house. We'll sit on the bay window. Jeez, these midgets are killing. So let's turn that around and let's hope the Wi Fi stick for you guys. And let Caroline talk you through it as we walk into the Foster family home. So keep it straight, Caroline. I get the bag. The midgets are The flies are out here in their thousands tonight. Uh, no, millions. Yes, yeah, surrounded. It is a beautiful home. I say it was lovely back in its day. Actually, a fine big building. It's actually a lovely evening here in Ireland yeah, tonight, isn't it? Promise, next two weeks, I promise, okay, but not yeah. hot weather. Like, just, just keep the hand love up. That's it. So we're walk, we'll, let's walk you to the bay window where we picked up the, the the white lady when we came here the first time. Um, this place can be very active if the spirits want to interact. Now there is bad spirits here too. Believe me, there is, there's a uh, they reckon that um, when the spirits of the world, um, if you're a believer or non-believer. If the spirits of the of this place, there's the coverage. It will go in and out. So they're bad entity in this house. That's the worst thing about here, guys. The coverage is going to go in and out. So as Kevin Kane's wife walked around the back of the house, she spotted a man rocking on a rocking chair at the back of the house, and uh, and uh, her sister was there. So she was her sister now was there as well, and she said yes. We're just going to show you, look, it's all in runes. Every bit of it's all in runes. But um, what we do, we're going to sit here for a minute. Take a wee old break before we move on. 
And before we give you more, we'll move when the when when the when the flies, as you can see them there, start to annoy us, then we'll get up and running. I want to carry the smoking fag so she blows them off flies away. And this is where we stood before with myself and Carla. We're not gonna do a spirit box session at this spot, but this, this is where we stood before. And this is where we got this, the, the white shadow figure that flew right past us. Now we did do a spirit box session here and stuff did come through, but we don't want to do the spirit box session in here. We want to do it inside the house. Um, let's hope that the coverage does stick. We walk around the back now in a minute and we'll just try and show you all, all outside. And Dean, Karen, where do you want to do it? Do you want to come in from the side or do you want to go in the window? Do you think we should go in and bring them for the guided tour? Or what do we do? Like we did before? Um, it, is, yeah, it, it is going to bluffer, guys. We did tell you that in a minute. Mm -hmm. It is going to bluffer because this is live television. We are not do we don't do pre-records. It will bluffer. When is buffering and was it something at the window? No, um, it will bluffer. Plus, this place will bluffer. Mm -hmm. And even when we go in starting doing our spirit box sessions and when we do our EVP sessions tonight, we're going to do an EVP session. And when we go into the room itself and uh, it, it was in the window, they're saying. This is the window where we were located before and we asked the Fiend and Anton here at the moment. Like you've been watched over this way, but I can see a beautiful view of St. Oliver Plunkett's house from here. It's actually not too far away from here. And that's another fan. It's live television. Right. We'll go and keep coming back. That's in refresh because that's what it is. It's live television. And it's the Wi-Fi, unfortunately. And we can't buy Wi-Fi to bring with us. It's just whatever Wi-Fi is on the phone there, Caroline. That was it is. Take it all in, guys. Look at the old shutters. This is see this wing here, this bay window here where it's all blocked up, Caroline. Yeah. That is where Mrs. Foster herself. That was her bedroom. This is, that was her bedroom where she lived. Up I was and there before. yeah, yeah. But the people are watching. And this is where the wing here, up in, up in these wings here, where the shutter. Are. This is where Mr. Foster was believed to hung himself up up in that way. But there's no room up there. The rooms are now gone. But you can still see the shutters today. They're still there, can't they? They're shuttered. There's the man there, yeah. I, you just talk and I go up and talk to him. No, no, you're right. Just talk away and I go up and talk to him. Talk away. This fella's just gone to talk to him on there, a man and a fan. Let's see, it was a fine old building, wasn't it? Big hello to Anne Rees tonight, big hello to Gillian, big hello to everybody else that's watching, big shout out for Carpy Chris. Yes, and he's gone that turn again. It's actually man, I think he owns this here land, so just to get permission really. There's never really anybody here when we do come here, so just really all about permission. <laughs> Could be here for a while, it's right on. You know, Philip and talking. She is a beautiful even here in Ireland tonight. It's absolutely fab. And we said we'd come out tonight and tomorrow night because it's actually Leva's birthday this weekend. So we'd we'll be busy and we're having a lovely wee party for her. And it's really a goodbye party for Eva and Leah and all the kids in the street before we move home. So it's really a happy birthday party for Eva and a goodbye party for all the kids in the street. Yeah, it's actually been a fine day here, Mariner. And we're promised the next two weeks to be nice, so happy days. We're happy all out. You can see it's a fine big building. I hate when he goes yapping, he'll be gone there for hours. Hello to Ansunk Gami, all the way from Finland. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, Gillian, I'd love a slice of your cake. Yes, Maren, our summertime, the living is easy, it's fab. She wore off to Greece now the second week in August. We're really looking forward to that as well. Oh, it's a lot of weather like in England tonight, guys. I know, Carby, you're just back from a fishing trip. You'd find weather. I watched your videos. I'll show you, Philip, he's up here yapping. If you can see him. 
He's up there beside the fan. Hi Angela, big shout out to Angelo Kane this evening. Big shout out to First Name, thank you for joining us. A big shout out to everybody tonight that's watching guys. Sun is shining in I'm sure. The sun's been shining in Ireland all day. It's about time we got a bit of it. Oh what it's been absolutely terrible here in Ireland. Yeah, and if you find anything interesting, please do let us know. That's Philip you've telling him his life story. Goes yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping. Philip loves to talk, doesn't he, Anne? <laughs> this is Clyde Courthouse, first name. It's a building in Ireland. Oh, it's been like this here now, this past couple of years, it belonged to the Foster family, first name. And Mrs. May Foster lived in this here house and her husband, it's believed that from that there top bedroom window that her husband killed himself. And also from the well that Philip has shown you over there, it's believed that he put poison in the well. They used to supply the water into this here manor house and he was believed to have poisoned some of his kids so it's believed that kids died and there's actually a river that runs just around the side over here behind the house and it's believed one of the other kids drowned as she was trying to cross the river so she drowned while trying to cross the river yeah it is a beautiful building angela it's absolutely fab it's a shame about all these here buildings but they're just left here to Nothing been done with them. Yes, first name, we have been there. A couple, we've been there, actually here a few times and picked up a few interesting things. If you've all seen the picture we picked up, it was actually, I think it was Carpy Chris or Anne Rees that captured a screenshot and it was actually, you could see a wee green face behind Philip. Then we were out here one night and um, it was myself, Kevin and Philip and we picked up a few interesting things and we actually heard, now I heard it myself with my own ears, a woman humming a lullaby. And it was like, Pop goes the weasel. She was going, hmm, 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 hmm. And for the next couple of nights, I kept on humming it to myself over and over again. I couldn't believe what I heard that night. I couldn't actually believe it. If I never believed in the paranormal, I believed it that night. Jesus. Yes, and I haven't actually got my phone now, my messenger with me, but I'll have a look when I get home. A big shout out to Cassie So Sassy, Birmingham Ghost Hunters. Which window is that, Birmingham Ghost Hunters? Oh, it's been abandoned now years and years and years. <coughs> it's been abandoned just a couple of years. A long time now. I couldn't tell you exactly how many years, but it is a good couple of years. A long time ago now. The big top bay window. Over here. Am I at the right window, Berman and Ghost Hunters? Philip's up telling his life story. Oh my God. Yes, Stephen, the green face was very creepy. <coughs> my own mum now, she wouldn't be a believer, but we showed her and she couldn't believe it. She said, oh my God, what are you going out and getting yourselves into? She couldn't believe it. She really couldn't believe it.
Yes, Blackwing. Philip is still yapping. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just after giving him a shout there to come. So that battery will be gone before he gets to start or anything. You know, Philip, he loves to yap. Clear as day, a boy with blonde hair, no older than 12. <coughs> I'll say it to him now when he comes down, Birmingham Go Centres. And I'll have a look at your screenshots as soon as I go home. My hubby goes to the shops and comes back four hours later. No, Philip's actually fine when you send him to the shops. It's just when he meets somebody and he yaps and yaps and yaps and yaps and yaps. <coughs> I'm sorry about this, guys, but you know, Philip. Big shout out to Carpy Chris. That was a lovely fish you caught the other day. Philip will show me. Well done. It's a fab fish, Carpy. Well done to you. He's actually coming. Come on, run, Faris, run. <laughs> You're up there talking 25 minutes. Was it? Mm. Sorry guys. Now we had to talk to the farmer. You know Philip for tall. <laughs> That's the farmer and he owns his property. So I never met him here before. All the times that I've been here, you have to ask permission before you come in over first. Because mm -hmm. it's nice to be nice. It's not nice to enter property without permission. So we have permission to win and we're back, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go. I don't like this here bay window. Bell yeah. Ghost Hunter said she's seen like a choir boy up in this here bay window. Where? Up in this window. A choir boy. And Anne Marie's caught something as well on screenshots. She sent it to me in Messenger. So, so who's, who said the scene a choir boy? Bellman and Ghost Hunters. All right, let's go back here. So let's go back to that bay window you were saying. So just before, because the farmer's watching it now. So it's nice to be nice, and it's nice to get permission to come into the place so we don't get in trouble. I will tell you what he said as we're walking around. He says that this place, years ago, Carney, the farmer says that his father, when he bought this place, when he went up for auction, he says there was a roof in this place, there was stairs in this place, he says there, he said there were beds in this place, he says there was <coughs> hanging in this place, he said this place was a beautiful home, but his father and mother had uh, family resident in another location, but their kids were too small. But he, I mean, if that's if it was if it was in the standard, if he was now, he said they would have moved into it. But he says the travelling community, that's what he says, mm -hmm. put ch chains at the entrance of the property, took the gates, never brought the gates back, and they took the leads off the roof, took the slates off the roof, and every week they were coming. Bits and pieces away from the house, and that's how this place is in ruins today. Okay. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, there was a roof there in 2008. Yeah, and he says that the travelling commuter <coughs> were coming in here every week, taking Jeez. stuff out of the house. And he says, even to this day, they're still trying to take the windowsills out of the house. He says, yeah, yeah, they said they're still trying to take the windowsills out of the house. He just why I wonder why people not leave. Yeah, yeah, mm. that's, that's what he said. So that's why I was gone away from the farmer talking for years because it's nice to be nice. It's nice to be into a location where you're welcomed. But he says the travelling community, he says they're coming here and they are nicking everything left, right, and centre. Even the windowsills, they're trying to take the windowsills out of it, he says. He said that they've locked up the, the gates up there with chains and everything. He said it was even that bad. He says they tied ropes to the chains and uh, pulled the gates off and took the gates as well and went out the door. Jeez. Absolutely. So let's get back to <coughs> the paranormal investigation and let's see. What window did you say, Carly? Just up here, the bay window. This bay window here. Yeah. So we're just going to pop that there. And what did they say? Like a choir boy. In here, in this window here. Yeah. So we're going to zoom into the middle window, is it? Mm hmm. I hope they are no, over here. I don't know which window, but the All right, so, window. so Caroline says there's somebody seen something in a bay window. So we're going to go around each window very slowly and see what you can pick up.
So let's do it. And if you see anything, let us know. So we'll make our way back this way now. I see most of that window left out. That was the end. So I actually don't know. Yeah. This, one, this one here. <coughs> so, okay. <laughs> so let's go at this bare window here. Anne Marie says, oh my god, a face, damn it, in green face. The green face. Where's that green face? And says she sees that green face again. So that is the green face that we do see here. Mm. So let's let's zoom it out, Caroline, and let's get onto it, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, be enough? Yeah. But it's nice to be nice to Yeah. Go to your right, says Anne. Go to your right. They're not about to see a face in that window. So they see, yeah, you're, if you take screenshots, let us know. Let's move on, guys. Because <laughs> Caroline's just pointing out we got talking to the farmer. <laughs> but you have to. Yeah, it's, I don't like it. You have to ask permission, yeah. So let's go through it. I can see it now. This is Jill again. So let's, let's, walk, let's, let's, let's walk it through bit by bit. Will you go back on it and screenshot it? We'll go back on it and screenshot it. Okay, that's fine. We've lots to go through here. So um, we're just going to bring you through it, bit by bit. And uh, the farmer's up here at the moment putting a scare throw scorch because he has corns of hay. So we'll just bring you around here. Let's hope the coverage is there. And we'll walk up this way, Karen, and we'll show him the side entrance. So we'll walk up this way and we'll show you the side end of it. And this is where Kevin Kane's wife and Kevin Kane says, this is where they used to, this, this was the side entrance. That's just um, sweet corn. That was the entrance coming in there with the horse and carriage, Caroline. So the horse and carriages used to come in here. Uh, we're back again. That's where they used to have the cup of teas, Caroline. And they used to sit there on a nice sunny day and they used to have the cup of teas there and welcome the guests coming in. And they used to, I, I think there was a bell on that middle window there. Not 100% sure, but I think that was, there was some kind of a chapel at that wing. So we walk back slowly. And there's actually two crests here, Caroline. There's one from her side and one for his side, isn't it, Caroline? Yeah. So let, let's, let's show you that. And that's that side there. We, we, we'll, we'll show you the two crests, and then I'm going to pass it to Caroline, and Caroline can tell you about the story. What happened here first? Remember the white lady we've seen waving at you? Remember? Okay, right up here. Yeah. So let's bring you to the, to the crest. You can see it there behind it. And let's zoom in the crest. So that. <coughs> That is one, and we'll bring you to the other one in a few minutes. Now, there is a story here, when I brought Carling here a couple of years ago, and we went in, and we, what do we see Carling coming there on the right-hand side, on the left? I see it down here on the left-hand side, straight down the corridor, was a figure of a white lady. She was white, and it was moving and waving, wasn't it? Yeah. So let's bring you to another crest of the... Fastly farmers, families, and this is where the coverage will go now, guys. So we're just going to bring you to this one. And look at that. I'm just going to bring you to everything as much as we can. Kevin Kane's actually back a couple of years, remember? Yeah. Kevin Kane's dad was up here and he yeah. fell from the hotel down. So let's bring you to the next crest. Now the coverage went out, guys. So that is the next crest of the family, Foster family. Let's see, can we zoom in on it? And we'll try and zoom in on that as well. There you go. Look here now. The cover if the coverage goes, guys, refresh, and then when they get past the devil's window, I will um, I will bring it back. But look, look at the way it was years ago, Caroline. Look, mm -hmm. and every year we're coming down here, it's getting worse and worse mm -hmm. and worse, isn't it, Caroline? Mm -hmm. It's getting worse. But anyway, that is the inside of the house. We'll get in that way in a few minutes. But that corridor down the right, down to the very end down there, isn't it, Caroline? Yeah, is where Caroline's seeing a white figure down there waving at her. Now, do you not think that was very weird there? Caroline, yeah. that he's brushed by as we went down there. No. We'll get in that way in a few minutes. So let's bring you down to the window, yeah? yeah? So we're going to bring you to the window next. So let's bring you to the window. This is the wing now we're going to take into. If the coverage goes, it will pop back in. This is the extension where he built the extension for the maids and the, the butlers. So let's try and bring you around without the coverage going.
So that is the wing on the left hand side you're looking at. That is where all the windows and doors are. That is the wing where all the butlers and the maids lived back in his time, back in there, Caroline. You're smelling the side, it's just how you're smelling. That is, is, that's the window there. The very, very window where Kevin Kane's wife seen a man rocking in a rocking chair, believe it or not. Kevin Kane's wife and his sister-in-law um, was there as well. And she sweared by it that there was a man rocking in a rock rocking chair there. Myself and Caroline and Kevin Kane did a spirit box session there. And the answer we got was I asked who was the spirit that Kevin Kane's wife seen rocking in a rocking chair there in that window. And the answer we got was the devil, isn't it, Caroline? Satan is walking through. Yeah. So there is Paranormal X TV. He's live on YouTube right now. So there's a big shout out to you. So anyway, let's go down here. And we'll bring you through down here. And then, um, where do you want? Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to go in from the front? Or do you want to just go straight, straight into it? It's up to you. It's up to you. But that's what it looked like. And it was a fine place in the time, wasn't it, Carly? Mm -hmm. Absolutely fine building in the time. Look at that. A huge place in the time, Carly. Absolutely massive place in the time. You can see it there. Now, there is a way back there to the, to the left-hand side. You can go right, but you won't get the coverage going back there. But there is there's other place. But the, the most active place is down here. So we're going to throw the bag on the window. And we're going to walk you through it through bit by bit. And some of the stuff... You can even see some of the, the slates are still there and the glass are still in the pins, the glass mm -hmm. are still in the window. This place was a fine place in its time, wasn't it, Carling? <sighs> now, the farmer did say, let's, let's take you through it, and he's dead right, Carling. He's 100% right. Take a look, what do you see missing? From the, from the, look at the windowsills are gone. Mm. Look, he's right. The, the travellers have taken the windowsills away from this house. Since we, because, Carling, they bought a lot of money. So let's show you what the farmer is on about. They have actually taken the windowsills from the house. That's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it, Carly? What they do, they'll sell them, you see. So you can see here, look, the, the windowsills <coughs> are actually missing from the houses. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So you look at each one of the windows as we're going from left to right. Look at that. Underneath the windows, all the windowsills have been taken from this house. And look, they're even that bad, Carly, that took the windowsills away from the... Look at that. Look at that, they even took the windows. Let's show you one. There's one left down here, the one that they didn't get. So whoever took these windowsills, look at this, they should be ashamed of yourselves. This is the Foster family home. And the farmer did say to me that they've, they've took the, the windowsills away from the house. And you can see up there in that window, mm -hmm. there's no windowsills in it. Okay, so let's bring you down where there is windowsills. So up in there in that window, there is a windowsill. See the concrete, the old, old concrete windowsill? Mm -hmm. there's, there's one, right? And they've took them all down from the bottom. Absolutely ridiculous. There's another one, see, look. That, so, so they took all the windowsills out of the house. They should be absolutely ashamed of themselves, shouldn't they, Carly? Mm -hmm. So we'll go this way and we'll make our way around. So the farmer was, what are you telling me about the windowsills? They took the windowsills. He's 100% right, they took all the windowsills. And it takes a lot of work to take them out. It, it's not easy to have to take them out, but they took all the windowsills. They bought about 100 and odd euro each, Carly. That one's all cracked. But it takes a lot of work to get that out, can I? It takes a lot of work to get out of it. So he's right. He says the travelling community have taken every window sale out of the house. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But you know what makes me makes me sad about this place, can I? Yeah. They had to go to an awful lot of work to take the window sales from the top half of the door. Yeah. The last time we were here, mm -hmm. them window sales were here. So when they came here to take that... But that, that Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. The spirits of Clyde Court House come after you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Of the people that took all these windowsills out of this house, if you're watching this back, a shame on you. May, may you get the, the, the curse to come down on top of you because this house should be left alone. Shouldn't it, Carly? Should be well left alone. So, do you want to talk in Carly before we head in or do you want to get straight into it? Let's get straight into it, right? So, we know where we go. So, let's go back into it. And you know what to do, Caroline. I just pull this back here. Just let me lift up. The, let, let me lift this up for you. Can you sneak by that there? Yeah. So what we're going to do? We're going to walk through it. There's, there isn't many areas you can walk through it now. So we're going to walk. If the coverage does go, it will go in and out. So let's walk. Walk you through. We're not, not going down the left hand side. We'll go to the right, Caroline. 
that's the, the way we are. So let's walk you through it, the house, what's left of it. I've been here loads of times, guys, so I know where to go. And um, where Carling is going now, Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Foster was the last standing off the Fosters. You stand there, Carling. So this was the entrance off the home in here, Carling. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Foster w w originally lived in this bedroom, but she was diverted down here as the house got older. But it's, it was a beautiful, beautiful house in its time. So let's go down here. But the window cells have them really, really astonished. And it, it, the, the, they're ruining the place. They're in the curling. Absolutely ruining the place. So keep an eye out, guys. Watch in case you spot anything that I don't see. And keep going, Carly. Nice and steady. Do you want to bring this Mrs. Foster's room? Any point? Oh, do you want to get straight into it? Yeah. Go into Mrs. Foster's room. Mrs. May Foster, was, as I said before, was the last standing of the Fosters. And she lived in this room. There was actually a partition built in this room here. And what they did here for Mrs. Foster when she got older, they put a partition across this room and they made it a small sitting room, living room. And they put a partition over here in this wall here where she had her kitchen. And how do I know that? Kevin Kane was the last person to work for her. And he said it. Now, Caroline, you can see how they, they, they have even put out the windows as well out there where they took the... That's absolutely ridiculous what they're doing here. Why don't they leave things alone? Isn't it, Caroline? So let's bring you through it, and we're heading towards where Pop Goes the Weasel comes into it now. So let's bring you through it. Do you, do you want me to go first, or you want to go first? Yeah. Right. And just keep your legs up, can I? So let's bring you through it bit by bit. Remember, if you're watching this, make sure you, you get permission. Yeah, make sure you get permission to come in here, guys, because you need permission to get into any places like this. So. Let's try and bring you through it <coughs> bit by bit and show you the old way is the old stairways the way everything it used to be years ago. We're going to try and bring it through as best we can. We're just going to head down to the areas that we know and uh, we'll start it down there then. You okay, Caroline? Mm. There's the old hallway. See, see the old hallway because there has been an off. But I told the farmer, we're not going to give you anything unusual, that I will report back to him. Uh, this is where we're going in here. That brings you down to the library. There was a library down there now, but it's all in ruins. I want to try and get more into the investigation. Isn't it, so let's get into it. Because we do have kids at home as well. So this is where all the action happened the last time. Um, the last time we were here, this is where we got all the action. And it came actually from this window here and this is where this room in here when we were here at night time this is where we heard the woman sing la 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 exactly out here and this is where we heard the woman no this is the hallway there yeah the hallway's there and this is where we actually had it the right way this is where we heard the woman sing la 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 pop goes the weasel and she was yeah Karen was actually humming it for two trees three days after it but this is where it was so as you can see there's a little round tower here now there is a window up here and it's very hard to see it on this camera but there is a window there actually there's a little round tower here and there's a little round tower there you can't see it here that we've no light have you your light in your bag here have you yeah you have to get them we'll be able to show you this is kind of a forecourt here we were sitting on that window over there mm -hmm. and this is where we heard all the racket going on, Carling. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, and she rushed, somebody rushed through here. Kevin was out here at this door. He couldn't see anything that was going on and they definitely heard a woman singing a song and she was singing Pop Goes the Weasel. So let's, let's tie up the light. <coughs> There's the window, guys. Can you see the window up there, guys? That is the window up there. That is a round tower that's actually up here, up, up, right up in the very top of the... That is a round tower the window is. And over here with this light were shining the window, that is where we were sitting. And that is where we got the figure of the green lady that came through. You need to go back in my videos if you didn't, if you want to see the green figure. That is where the green figure came in front of us. And in here is where we're going. So we're just going to walk up this way, Caroline, show the people what's going on before we do any paranormal investigations. Let's walk up here. And then we're going to pass it to Caroline. So Caroline, you remember? This is where we were, no, this window here. This, that, that's where Kevin was sitting. You were here? No, we were over here. Yeah. We were actually sitting here in this window, and that is the corridor, remember? Sitting here. We were sitting here in this one here, and that is the corridor 
where we've seen all the activity happening. And this is where we picked up the lady singing Pop Goes the Weasel. So let's get into it. Let's get our gear up, Caroline. And um, I will point this back here towards you. And you can you can talk to the guys at home. And let me turn on the light here for you, Caroline, so you can start talking to them. And there you go. If, tell me if it's too bright. No, it's fine. Okay, like that? Mm-hmm. More? Like that? That's right. fine, yeah. So you can talk to them there. And what way sure are you going to go in? I'm going to go in the doorway. Here, isn't it? Yeah, it's just uh, New York. Oh, it's rotten. Yeah, it's in New York. Fuck. So, this is where we are. This is where we are in this room here. Now. Get the big light out now, a second. Just give me a second. The smell here is terrible, isn't it? It's just manure, that's all. Yeah. Just manure. You can show them the whole big fireplace there, too, Carly, out there if you want to. Let me show you guys the fireplace here. Big old fireplace there. It's destroyed too, isn't it? Yeah. Graffiti. Yeah. All right, not around it. But as I said, this was a lovely house back in this time, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful house. So let's let's get set up. And where, where would you like to start? Can we start here? Can we start in the hallway? Let's see here first. Yeah. Mm. Well, we we'll do. Uh, just tell them we're going to do a tester first. You're going to. We're going to walk to the center first and see if it doesn't work. And if it doesn't, we'll walk back here. Okay. Mm. Do you hear him? We're going to do a tester first, guys. I'm just going to try this. It didn't work last time. Just turn around the camera down so they can see you. Yeah. So we'll just walk into the cell or just to test out. The Wi-Fi. I don't like this hallway. So far, it goes so good. Mm. Like here. Now, just walk through. Just talk. Don't keep going back. Back that way. No, back that way. Uh, is that hard to get into the cell? But if you're quick enough to bring the cover in, I'll try it before we start the line. And I won't go, and if it fails, we'll come back here. So what we're going to do is... It was in for a minute, but then it went. Yeah, so what we we'll do is... Um, I'm going to have a, a wee wander at it. I'm going to try it. You're okay here for a minute. Okay, because I can leg it. All right? And if it doesn't work, I'll come back here. Just take out the spirit boxes, the boom box, and, uh, and I'm going to leg it down there quick. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm going to try to get down to the cellar. Because then it goes, it goes, and we, if we can't get in, we can't, then we start here, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if the coverage goes, guys, just refresh, I'm just going to try one more go, and let's, let's have a go at it. So I won't be two minutes, I'll be quicker than Caroline. So it is working, so I won't be two minutes, I'll be quicker than Caroline. So it is working now, what happened is, Caroline's just going to set up there, Caroline's going to pull out one or two stuff. We did the set up, but I'm going to have one more go, and try and bring the coverage to, this, to set up, I'll just show you the set up. And if the coverage goes, guys, it goes. And if it goes, guys, I'll go back to Caroline and bring. And we're going to set up. Just bear with us, nice guys. Two minutes. We're not going to be too long now. Yeah, the iPhone. Yeah. So we're going to turn on the camera. Caroline's going to have a wee chat yet while I set up. And we're going to turn around the camera here. It's going to set up two two seconds. There you go. She's going to turn around this as well and get everything set up. Turn around the light. If there's any screenshots, just do a capture. Make sure you send them on to me, and you know my Facebook, my Messenger. Right. So what I'm going to do is light. And um, do you think, Karen, we put the ramp pod set up now in the hallway uh, where we're doing a spirit box mm -hmm. session here? And if we're here, so, yeah. so I'm going to put up the ramp pod in the hallway. We'll do a spirit box session here. Then we walk to the windows end. We sit in the windows end, and we start to there. We finish to there. How's that? Yeah. So we'll do that. So, so we're just going to put this back in Karen's handbag. So hard to get in. Look. So what I'm going to do is, this is the metmeter. We'll put the metmeter mm -hmm. on as well. And uh, I'll actually put the metmeter on in here. And we'll put... The hallway's very creepy, isn't it? Yeah, so I we don't will, like it. Yeah, we mm. will do the hallway. So, I'm just going to put on the metmeter here. 
So the man meter is on. So we're, we're made to leave the man meter here. So we're going to leave the man meter on in here. So we'll leave the man meter here beside us. Because we'll be doing a spirit box session here. And if anything happens here, the man meter is on right beside us. So um, this is Karen's last chat with you for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to put on the ramp pod. We all know what's any screenshots you do get. Make sure you forward them all on to us. Yeah, so this is the ramp pod. We're going to set up the ramp pod. So if any activity does happen in the hallway, that green light will activate. So let me go on and start that. And it's back in two seconds. And you have my Messenger account. Yeah, put it on Facebook or my Messenger. Yeah, Karen McDowell or even Zanon Reese Forwards is everything on to us anyway. There's not good smell here tonight, guys. It's all manure. Oh, it's terrible. It's actually awful here tonight. It'd make you sick. Sacramento Paranormal Investigator. She said she's seen a shadow person. Just forward everything on to us and we'll have a look. Right, that's it. Anne-Rie, you can send all my details on to Sacramento Paranormal Investigators. Or I can post a link. Right, off we go. We're up and ready. Rampod is in the hallway. The men meter is down beside Caroline. We're going to put on the spirit wheel app now. We're going to start with the spirit wheel app. We'll give it a, what, a minute here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll start with all the activities. Is in the hallway. And we'll do it from the hallway. So, so far the coverage is not bad. Last time we were here, we couldn't even barely get coverage here where we're standing. So hello to everybody who are open your joining us. Thank you to the farmer for giving us permission to come in here. That was actually my first time ever meeting the farmer. And it was actually nice to meet a genuine face. But we always met Kevin Kane anyway. And I, and I had a chat with Kevin Kane. We always let somebody know that we're here. But it's nice to be nice. It's nice to get permission to come into places. Isn't it, Karen? Yeah. So it's nice to be nice. Mm -hmm. So what we're, going, we're going to put on the spare wheel app. We're going to let it run for a minute. I'm going to do one round. Carney's going to do another round. And then after that, then we'll move into the hallway. See where we'll get the lady. Pop goes weasel. We're, we, look, you're not going to get every paranormal <coughs> investigation is going to be different. But that is where we've seen the green figure of the green lady in that window. So we don't want to spend too long at it. We're now on 20 minutes, 25 minutes left for me for talking to the farmer. Carney, don't know yeah. Facebook. Don't, don't do Facebook. Uh, we don't do Facebook. No, I'm a messenger. Bermelin goes hunters. Right, so here we go. Good evening, spirits of... Clyde Court House. My name is Philip and Caroline. We are here tonight in Clyde Court House looking and researching in evidence in the afterlife and the paranormal field. If there's any spirits that are wishing to come forward to speak to Philip or Caroline tonight, please do so. We're looking for the spirit of Mrs. May Foster, the Foster family residence. We're looking for any spirits of the Foster family kids to please come forward. Any maids, any butlers, can you please come forward and let us know you're, you're a butler or a maid? Or Mrs. May Foster, or Fosters, can you say the word Foster? If you wish to speak to Philip, say Philip. If you wish to communicate with Caroline, say Caroline. So here we go. Earphones in. You're going to hear better than we are. We always have to watch <coughs> it back to hear it correctly. So here we go. First round of the spirit box session. <coughs> here we go. So you let it round it up now. So it's loading up, as you can see. And when that goes up to the full blue, that means that spirit wheel app is ready to go. And we use a little boom box for you guys to hear what we can hear. So it's, it's nearly 90% active now. So are we ready to go? You ready, Carly? Good evening, spirits. Can you come forward, please, and try and use this the gear that we have here tonight? You know who I am. Can you come forward, please? So, so it's, not, it's not picking it up. Connection is OK. Good evening, spirits. Can you come forward, please? Come forward, please. <coughs> so again, the spirit wheel app is slowing down, Caroline. It's not communicating. I'm just going to get Caroline to hold that for a minute. Um, usually when it does that, it does get active, but it should be working. Good evening, spirits. Can you come forward, please? <coughs> My name is Philip. <coughs> We're looking for any spirits. The Foster family residence. Come forward, please. <coughs> My name, my name, my name, everybody. I want to just anyway. the Yeah. 
Any spirits here? My name is Philip. Can you repeat my name? And say Philip. Yo, sex up. We're looking at Mrs. May Foster was the last of the Fosters here. Mr. Foster, the story goes that you hung yourself in this house. Uh, there was a wee girl supposed to be drowned behind the house in the river. Did you find your did you find your mommy? Who is the green who is the green figure that we see in this house? Who is the green figure in this house? <coughs> creatures. Creatures. What creatures? Who? Okay. Who's the creature? Who's the creatures? Snow. Who's the creatures we see in this house? Who's actually the green face that we see in this house? I don't know. Who is the creature that we see in this house? Was it you that was singing la 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 la? <coughs> yeah. Yes, it was you, yes? Okay. They were right. What what's your name? Have you a name? Have you a name? What's your name? What's your name? Uh, My name is Philip. Can you, can you say can you say Caroline or Philip? Who do you wish to communicate with? I did. That just happened. <coughs> can you communicate? Who do you wish to communicate with tonight, Philip or Caroline? Is there any of the Foster family's residents, any of their spirits, still live on in this house? Yes. <coughs> yes. Can you tell me? Can you tell me how many spirits of the Foster's family are still located in this house? Try to move here now. When he was. <laughs> Can you tell me again? You know. You know. What do you know? What's Caroline doing? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to have to get carrying cough tablets. Right. <coughs> okay, carrying has gone downwards. Did I know? Did I know what? Come on. Is the spirit of the young child here looking for your mommy? Are you still here? Spirit of the young child, the one night I was here, on a windy night here in October, and the spirit of a young child came here and she said, in the cellar, in the cellar actually where we can't bring the Wi-Fi with us, the child says, where's my mommy? How many foster children are there in this evening? So how many foster children are they in this house this evening? Can you give me a number between one and five? <laughs> Mrs. May Foster, um, are you here? I <laughs> Mr. Foster, you were a very generous and kind person who give money to the poor. You send them to England and America when the potato flies is in Ireland. True. People in your spirits of Clyde Court. 
My name is Philip. Can you try and say my name tonight? <laughs> and prove to the 23 people who are watching that you can say my name through this device. Can you say Philip? Can you say the word or the name <laughs> Philip? Can you say Philip? Come on. Say Philip. Come on. All your strength inside you and try and say my name, Philip, and prove to the people that you are in this house. Say my name, Philip. Ashley. Ashley. Yes, Ashley was here a few times. Can you say who do you feel comfortable speaking Can you who do you feel comfortable speaking with it tonight? Philip or Caroline? No. Come on. Who do you feel comfortable with? Did you die did you did you die in this residence? Did you, did you die here? Did you die in this residence? Come on. It loves you. Yeah. Can you say my name, Philip, before I pass you on to Caroline? Can you prove to the people that you have the strength inside you and you can say my name, Philip, through this device? There's a sp there is supposed to be a spirit of a young child walking this house looking for her mum. This is this is the spirit of the young child that drowned in the river behind the house. So we'll go give Carly a go, guys. And you ask a few words, and then we'll move it. So you just hold that, and I do a refresh. You ask questions, there we go. Is there any spirits of Clyde Court's house we have with us this evening? One of them. Is the spirit of Miss Mary Foster here? She can. Fine. What about the little gamer supposedly roaming this house looking for your mommy? I'm just going to turn it down there. That's my cigars. Just now, pass me. Smell a cigar. Pass the me. child, the little child that roams no, here. Just... Is anything bad keeping you here? No. Why can't you? You roamed us. You roamed Clyde's courthouse looking for your mommy. Hello. Is the woman here that was singing Pop Goes the last time we were here? Can you sing it coming for us again? Can you hum that song, Pop Goes the Weasel? Don't be afraid, spirits. We come with love, joy, and respect. We mean no harm. This is Caroline's last go now, and then we went to the hallway. My name's Caroline. This is Philip Avery Can you say our names? Can you, can you say Caroline? Philip? Can you say Philip? Spirits of Clive's Courthouse, can you let us know you're here this evening? Escape. 